in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Paul's letter to the Corinthians, the first letter, chapter 11, verse 24. Do this in memory of me. Do this in memory of me. Dear friends, this word of God is related to the Holy Eucharist. I would like to teach you how memory is connected to the healing. How to heal our body. How the memory is connected with the healing. When St. Paul is speaking about do this in memory of me, when we use this word in the Holy Eucharist, do this in memory of me, it is the word used anamnesis, it is a memory, it is a living memory, living memory, it is an active memory. It is not the memory of the past. Something happened in the past, we are remembering. No, it is not remembering from the past. It is the memory we commemorate. We, the memory, the sacrifice of Jesus we commemorate. Now, today, here, at present. It is a living reality. The memory has a, when we use the memory in the Holy Eucharist, remember that nuances of the memory. It is happening now. It is now. It is happening not of the past. It is now. It is today, not 2000 years back. It is today. It is not there in the Mount Calvary. It is here, now. And it is at present, now. At present, it is happening. That living sacrifice, it is happening. Really, real, it is happening. So that memory, it is called anamnesis. It is connected. So when we speak about do this in memory means we are reliving that experience at present. So when we connect this memory with the healing, so when we work out for the healing, suppose you may be a person seriously ill. When we pray for, pray for, when we, when we pray for the healing, Mainly we use the word Book of Isaiah 53.5 By Jesus' wound I am completely healed. When we say this word it is a we have to remember believe and receive it is yours. So we have to claim into the body what you have to do you have to think about you have to think about suppose uh, when you were suppose now you are maybe going through a challenge of sickness maybe very serious diseases maybe incurable diseases any deadly diseases maybe on the verge of dying whatever may be how the miracle happened miracle happened in the faith faith we activate the faith in the promise of the word of God. I give you an example how to connect this word memory in the healing. So when you are sick, you think about the past. Think about the past, how you were so active, energetic, dynamic, strong.
strong, powerful. So this incident you can bring up, bring in your mind any one incident from the past experience. Think about that experience from the past moment. Bring a moment. The power, energy, dynamism you are going holding, you are having in the past. Maybe you, now you may be age of. 60 or 70 now you are in the bad week carrying the sickness now you may be very think about maybe you are age of 25 when you are very energetic very very strong full of powerful immunity you remember that one incident and that put it in a frame in front of your mind you bring it that picture in front of your mind and that picture you hold it now you just uh, just you can do it right now itself and close your eyes for a moment think about from the past a moment you were so energetic energetic full of power that bring into your mind maybe you were playing, you may be running, you may be doing some work and full of energy, that mental picture you bring in front of your mind and put it in a frame, put it in a frame and put it in a frame, you just focus your mind and put it in a frame, that incident happened in the past, bring in front of you, relive that experience, see it very very clearly very very vividly brighter and brighter brighter and brighter relive relive bring that memory relive you have to see it in front of your mind that that frame and make it very dynamic you can see the people around it you can hear the sounds you can see it very bright make it a very large picture very clear you can see your past now in front of you as a very very energetic feel it more and more you can see you can see very clearly you are full of energy right now when i say one two three Put that image into your physical body. One, two, three. Put it in your physical body. One, two, three. Put it in your physical body. One, two, three. Put it in your physical body. Feel in your body. Feel in your body. Feel in your body. In your body. Integrate in your body. And you experience in every cells of the body. Go through that living memory right now in your body. Yes, I am full of energy, full of power. You feel it in every cells of the body and feel it magnified, magnified, increase that emotion and feeling. Feel it in every cells, every cells of your body you are going through. Feel it more and more more and more it is increased it is increased more and more and feel in your body i am perfectly healthy strong and powerful and claim i claim i am healed i am healthy and you can slowly open your eyes feel fresh how do you feel in your body body is feeling full energy full energy full power, full strength you are experiencing and it is now you feel it and say thank you Jesus, thank you Jesus and experiencing that you have to say I am completely healed, I am healthy, strong and powerful. When that memory, when you experience in your body, it will become a reliving experience. It is called claiming that healing in your body. And thank the Lord. God bless you.
Jesus says, do this in memory of me. So that memory of your past health, relive now in your body, claim I am healthy strong. It will help you to speed up your healing and you confess by faith, I am completely healed. God bless you, God heal you and claim a perfect health. Amen.